deserve to be a heavyweight champion. And until I get that, I'm gonna be all over Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Zip it! <laughs> June 19th, Huntsville, Alabama. I remember it well. The first ever X Division champion. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat raises my hand. I still can't, I still can't believe it. After I won the X Division championship title, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat comes up to me and says, kid, you're gonna be great. I paused for a second. Looked at him and said, zip, zip it. it. I'm already great, Ricky. I'm going to be the greatest. Rick Flair, Terry Funk, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. What these guys have in common? They were great, but they weren't phenomenal. 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 Tag team champion, done it, X division champion, twice. Jeff Jarrett, you're standing in the way of greatness. Move. Hi everyone, and welcome to another exciting non-stop action episode of Trip Round the Multiverse with your host, the man whose name spelt backwards is Killer, Carl Charles and <laughs> And the company who loves to make convoluted rules for their match that does their matches that don't end up making a lot of sense. No. See my chunk. And in this episode, um was it this year or last year? It's made like twenty years of TNA yeah. slash Impact Wrestling. So we're just gonna yeah. talk about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of good things, but lots of bad things as well. That's 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 the uh, tragedy. Of, uh, you know, the really weird thing is, it's lasted twice as long as WCW. Yes, it has. Yeah. Uh, I thought. Okay. Do you know how the pay per view model was at the beginning? Um, it's like. A pay per view every week, isn't it? Yeah, so they're like, oh yeah, one hour of wrestling. That's what you get, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, like one hour a week of wrestling, but you yeah. pay nine ninety nine for that one hour, right? Because and they, and the way they sold it was, oh yeah, because you buy a WWF pay per view, you get three hours of wrestling, and you pay fifty bucks, yeah. So why don't you pay forty bucks and get four hours of wrestling? Because that. But I'm like, yeah, okay, fine, but think about this, right? They put free TV programs on. Mm -hmm. Entice people to buy the pay per view. You, mm -hmm. you're, you're comparing hours, but not directly. <laughs> you no. know, you say pay for hours. Yeah, okay. But they get their shows to lure you to buy the pay per view. Whereas you're saying buy us blind. And yeah. Buy us blind right. and hope for the best. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how they managed to survive from that point, you know? No, but a... somehow they have. Did you, um, so you, you had Sky TV for a long time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you, do you have, do you remember TWC? Yeah, the wrestling channel, yeah. Yes. Um, 427. Yeah, it was, isn't it? Yeah, 427, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it used to have old Impact, so when I started watching it, I think it had Impact Wrestling, mm. current Impact Wrestling, but then it showed classic Impact Wrestling as well. Yeah. So all them pay-per-view ones that you, you didn't have to buy. I mean, I think that went around anyway in the UK to buy or whatever it was. Yeah, you could watch the old shows, the repeats. Yeah. Um, they played from the beginning. And what, what you notice when you're watching these things is 
the amount of Vinnie Russo ness across this entire yeah. program. Yeah. This you, you if people thought the end of WCW was Vince Russo doing what he wanted, this was Vince Russo. Yeah, power yeah, trip. Power trip. There's yeah. Uh where the X Division title was just changing hands very, very often. A lot yeah. more often than you should for a title that you're establishing to point out, oh, this is what our brand is built on. Because technically speaking, mm-hmm. as much as it was TNA, uh, NWA TNA, yeah. and you had the NWA title, really, I think the X Division was what's the draw at that time. Like the cruiserweight stuff. I wouldn't say at that time. I'd say like a couple of months later on. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say at the beginning. Oh, yeah, because they were getting their uh, ex-WWE people yeah. to be the draws. Yeah, which went so well. Yeah, and uh, but yeah, the exhibition title just kept on changing hands too many times for you think to think uh, to establish someone at the top of the chain. Mm. Um, to give it some... some... Oh, yeah, the same oomph. There's, you know, this title's defended with... Uh, this title's been defended... Uh, multiple times by like a guy we're establishing to build at the top. Instead, they went for the Vince Russo. We'll just ch- keep on changing the tiles, yeah. And if people uh, they'll they'll tune in to watch because you never know there might be a tile change. It's like, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't make any of your contenders credible. No, I think. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, I, I I'm not sure how. Do you remember in 1999 when the Incarnate Tile just kept on changing hands? Um, I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, I would say yes. <laughs> yes, I think there was a, there was one one run in the year where you had like it changed every month or yeah every couple of weeks. Those it was like wow these short title reigns why yeah you know it, nothing, nothing makes sense. Um, I'm not sure if you remember as well the TNA ring uh cage girls. Yep. Something that yeah. didn't age well, but yeah, I remember them. Yeah, well, first of all, congratulations to these girls for getting paid to dance in a cage. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a uh, plexiglass cage, whatever it is, right? Yeah. Because you get making money for just, I want to say just your ring, but you're there to be eye candy, whatever, yeah. right? I don't know how much you're getting paid, but you're getting paid money. You must be getting paid something, right? Yeah. Hopefully. So, good on you. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you get paid well. <laughs> yeah, that's as much as I can say about that. Yeah. Uh, I, I bet you, it, I don't know how much of this stuff is from Vince Russo, but you just like, this guy's notorious. Hmm. So you just start attributing this stuff to the guy, whether he did it or not. Yeah. I think there was a chant for something that he wasn't involved in. Hmm. And it was fire, and they were saying, fire Russo, fire Russo. And he was like, yeah, yeah, he had nothing to do with that. Whatever bad thing it was on that yeah. occasion. It's just like, yeah, but if your if your reputation is so bad, people will say it's you. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, like um, anything sort of bad in wrestling mm-hmm. around that period. Yeah, it's Russo. Really like, okay, it's the easy yeah. scapegoat. But well, this man, right? <laughs> what is these pole matches that he keeps on having? Yeah, they what is these? What's it, what is this reverse battle royal? Yeah. What, what is this King of the Mountain match where you had to pin someone or submit someone, right? Yeah. Have them put in the cage for two minutes, then the penalty box. Then yeah. you can go and get the title to hang it up on the ladder. Okay. Mm. Making things more confusing doesn't make people want to watch stuff That's more. That's the thing, it doesn't. But, you know, it was that time where we just throw anything against the wall hoping it sticks. Basically. Yeah, I never got that logic. By the way, can you explain the reverse battle royale to me? Well, I'll try because yeah. it's still not going to make no, it. No, I, I mean, I know. I know what it is, right? It's not, it's not you know what it battle. is. Yeah. But let, let's combine what we think it is and maybe one of us will get it right, one yeah. of us will get it wrong. That's, that's, who knows the rules exactly, you know? Yeah, so the <laughs> rules are you start outside the ring and once the bell goes, you have to fight your way into the ring, which makes no sense because you could just slide straight under the ropes, but sure, whatever. And the last person in is eliminated. Well, is 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 caught? Yeah, well, it is eliminated basically. Yeah, there. Can't wait. Okay, so I got I, th- all right. Right. So this is the rules I got. Yeah. Yeah. From it. 
So you, if, uh, how many people? I think it's 30 people start outside the ring, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. So 30 people start outside the rings. Uh, to, and then you've got to fight your way into the ring, like you're saying. Yeah. 20 people get in the ring. Hmm. And then it becomes a normal battle royal to throw them back yeah. out. I don't, I don't know. That's why I, I, I don't think so. It I, is. This is what I suspect. I then we'll check up the rules proper um, <laughs> just to see how much TNA actually mucked us up. So I think it becomes a normal battle royal. Yeah. Until the last four people, and then it comes a four-way elimination, or something like that. Okay, that's but, making it sound even more convoluted. Yeah, isn't that what it is? I don't think it is. No, you you made it sound too straightforward. Right. I think you you're making it. I think it's probably somewhere in the middle. Um, to be honest, uh, but hey, that's TNA. What what sounds more TNA? What sounds more Vince Russo? Your one or my one? Um. Your my one, but <laughs> all right. Where is it? Reverse battle royal, yeah. worth fifteen. I want the rules. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, keep going. I'll, I'll, I'll find this hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's very, it's very. Um, I, I wasn't. Uh, TNA's what's it called? X division. What's it called? Ultimate X match as well, where you had the ropes, uh, crisscross in the middle from the two for the. Whether it was six rings, hmm. uh, six sided or four sided, he had the X in the middle, and I, I can't, I don't know if you ever watched the first Ultimate X match, but yeah, the the X, the foam X wasn't pr- uh, chained up to the center properly, so every time people took bumps, <laughs> it dropped the X, and they had to stop the action to hang, rehang the X. Yeah, 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 yeah. Several times, right. Yeah, and it's just yeah. like you're killing the match. You're killing. It. You're not making it look good. Well, who, who, yeah, they should have just. I don't know. It's like one of those things where you just you, you're all paused when the X is on the floor. You just look at each other and just scramble for it. Yeah, but I guess but then, hindsight's a beautiful thing because I don't think at that moment they'll think like this is new and that stuff. It's not like yeah. anything we've seen before. So I think that's why they're like, okay, we need to stick to the gimmick this match and. If whatever happens happens, we all put it back. Right. But it's kind of stupid. Uh, okay, so I'm 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 seeing something here about the reverse battle royal, and you and this sounds more like this. Okay, so reverse the first section of the match is the reverse battle royal where you yeah. might get inside the ring. Yeah. Then the second section of the match is normal battle royal. You throw them over the top rope. Yeah. And then the last two fight on a one on one match. That sounds so stupid. Yeah. Well, the the reason why one worst match of the year. Uh, by the Pro Wrestling Observer in uh, 2006. Yeah. 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 I, I think they they did it twice and they did it no more. Because they learnt the first time, we think. Well, you, they didn't learn the first time. They learnt the second time. Good point, yeah. Fool me once, shame on me. Sort of thing, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Wow. They also did... No, that's not them. They lost... What, what were you going to say? Blood. No, because I saw things in Last Blood Battle Royale, which is... Which is... A battle royale. It's a bit of making... The person who wins is the wrestler not bleeding in the match. Okay. I don't know how that. Okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, there was um, what was that one they did? Uh, a graves um, a gravestone match. I can't remember. It was a business sting. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was called, but hmm. they were fighting in the ring. They had the the tombstones and stuff like that, and coffins and. Yeah. All that stuff, and I think if I remember correctly, one of them, and I'm going to say I, I might get the wrong person, but one of them is selling that the tombstone bits and whatnot is heavy, hmm. and the other one forgets they're meant to sell it like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. grabs it and uses it normally. Oh. And you're like, all right, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not 100 on on how that logic works, but someone just clearly forgot. It probably Sting that forgot something. Yeah, um, yeah. not to blame Sting, but uh, you know. The, these things do happen. Uh, yeah. Don't know. I'm gonna skip it around here, but I don't know if you remember how Sting lost his match to Bobby Roode ages ago. No. So, and this is typical TNA with your craziness. I, I think they want to protect Bobby Roode as uh, being the heel and Sting being the face. But mm. I, and I thought it was actually what they did was kind of fine, but they needed a follow up finish. As yeah. in, okay, so the chair was set up ages ago. Mm. Towards the end of the match, Sting gets Bobby Roode in a, a Scorpion Death Drop, yeah. gives him the reverse DDT, and but Sting comes backwards and hits the chair on the way down. Mm. So then 
Sting's knocked out by uh, from himself by the chair. Yeah. And Bobby Roode pins him. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, but shouldn't you, logically speaking, have Sting kick out at that point and then have Bobby Roode give him the, uh, whatever Bobby Roode's finish at the time was. I know it was, a, it was the perfect flex, but then he changed it to the... Roode bomb. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You should have just done that. At least it wouldn't be so stupid that Sting, like people think, oh, Sting knocked himself out. Well, I think it was actually rather inventive as mm. a way to protect him, but at the same time, it needs something else. Because that being the finish kind of is a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, city. Yeah. Well, th- this is this is tier. <laughs> this yeah. is Impact Wrestling. What can you do? You know, uh, like the one where Abyss won the title. I it, like it was good when they had the. Disqualif- Charles changed hand on the disqualification. Yeah. And Abyss Sting, for some reason, tied Abyss up and then started hitting Abyss with a baseball bat. And then he got himself disqualified and the title changed hands. And it was like, right, but that didn't make Abyss look particularly great. Mm. So, yeah, why? But I think that because they, they, they went to the shift the title to Abyss, but they didn't want Sting to lose, get pinned. Because they'll be on him for, for something as well. And then just like, all right, so you're just going to... Yeah, I don't know. People be weird. Yeah, yeah. TNA going to TNA. We, yep. we can, we, Vince Russo going to Vince Russo. Could have yep. just... Uh... Swerves for Swerves' sake and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, were you... Okay. So you were watching it. When did you start watching it? What? Um... um in... I want to say, yeah. but when it stopped being um, NWA TNA, I think I started watching it then. Like when uh, um, Jeff Hardy came and Macho Man, DDP, that stuff, I was watching it around then. I I, I, st- I can't remember the year it was, might be 2005, hmm. but it was just after the triple threat X division title uh, title match with AJ Styles, Smojo, and Christopher Daniels. Okay, okay. I missed the first triple threat. Yeah, but I got uh, I, it was it, but it was in but I joined in in between all of that free that feud, which was great by the way for yeah. TNA because those guys are great workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what? Yeah, one of the better things about like it, at that period in time. I thought the X division was more standout than what was supposed to be the draw, which is the heavyweight division. Mm. I think they put more um, stock into the cruiserweights because in WCW, <laughs> if you're a cruiserweight, people don't care about you, apparently. Yep, apparently. Even though you guys put the best matches on the card. Um, yeah. And the big the people getting big, paid big money, they're like, yeah, we're not going to do much. So, mm. Mm. And then they get jealous. <laughs> Like the guys who do get underpaid do a lot more. Yeah, than the people getting paid twice the amount they're getting. Yeah, and then he's like, "Yeah, okay, you're making us, you're making us look bad." Yeah, well, you, these people are earning their pay. You're not earning your pay. You're making yourself look bad. So really. But to be fair, though, um, like yeah. I've always said, if I was a wrestler, like at a certain it's point true. where I'm making a crap ton of money for doing less. <laughs> Doing yeah, less. yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. but then beef on the people that yeah, are doing exactly. more. Don't beef on them. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. Then you could just you'd be like, "All oh, right, I negotiated myself a fantastic salary. Great yeah. stuff. Great stuff." Yeah. Wait, why? Why am I gonna the same at some point? Sort of thing. Like, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Why am I gonna be? Why are we gonna have issues with these people? No, there's no point. Especially since they go around trying to bury them as well. Yeah. Ego crap. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, well, I get more than you, yeah? You might be better than me, athletically, but i got to make you look in the eyes of anyone watching. You're, you're, you're lesser than me, and you're not even worth my time. You're like, yeah. yeah, okay, but aren't you all supposed to be help- helping each other because you're meant to be a team? No, nah, apparently not. No, that'd be silly. Um, yeah, I think TNA did make the... the ex- <laughs> Can they make the, the exhibition stand out? At certain points, mm. but then I, they they also knocked it down a good couple of levels at certain points as well. I think uh, after Hogan joined, yeah, and they did the option C option C kind of stuff mm. where you can cash in option A. I, well, okay, I think it was a good idea by the way. Uh, uh, some parts of this, but hello, 
So you, if you're the expedition champion at Destination X, yeah, you you get to yeah. cash in your well coming up to the pay per view uh, Destination X. Do it for like which is in March, I think. Then you get to uh, cash in yeah. your X Division title. Yeah. For you can either keep it and be champion, or that's uh, sorry. Option A, you can cash it for a whole okay, world cool, heavyweight cool, title cool. shot, or right, option right, B, right, right. you keep it and, and oh. retain being the X Division title holder. Yeah. Or option C, according to uh, Aries, what's it called? It? Yeah, Austin Aries. You cash it in, and then you can make it a yearly annual thing for everyone else who has the title. Like, yeah. All right. How? I uh, I mean, that's a fine idea, but I would have just had the people just keep their X Division title, as in. You know, if you're the champion at X Destination, if you're the exhibition champion at, X at Destination X, yeah, you get a title shot. You yeah, know, you don't need to. You don't need That's to sacrifice your sense. champion. Yeah, yeah, because it just makes it look like yeah, this title's beneath this. Uh, yeah, yep, it rank. does. That's yeah. what I never liked about the whole option C thing. Like, yeah. you're trying to uh, do cash money in the bank, but it's not working. Yeah, yeah. I think they do in New Japan, right? Where if you, uh, the winner of the G one isn't no no not the G one the the one for the cruiserweight uh the the super J cup yeah. no the super J cup the other one uh, best of super, super juniors, juniors yeah? yeah they get to uh have a title shot a heavyweight title shot oh is it yeah I think so there's one of them where basically either the, the junior heavyweight champion yeah I think it's the junior heavyweight champion at a certain point gets a a heavyweight title shot which is like okay that makes sense. Uh, and obviously, you're not expecting Junior Heavyweight to win, but they, that's that's sure? that's you know that's not yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure there's something. Oh, can I reach it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I can't remember exact the uh, the exactities of it. Because I remember uh, the best. I know one of them, one of their events. That person obviously gets a um, title shot at Wrestle Kingdom. So you. Oh. Yeah. Well, one of the and it's a cruiserweight. Uh, it's a junior heavyweight event, right? Yeah. 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 Hmm. Uh, I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not 100. I, I can't remember exactly 100 percent on that stuff. But there was a <laughs> there was a time where I think Chris Sabin cashed it in and he won the title, and then the, the next year or something like that, him and Austin Aries <laughs> where. Feuding about around the t uh, about the title for uh, the title shot, but then mm. it changed hands like about five times in a couple of weeks, mm. and then that doesn't make your title look better. It just makes whoever is uh, holding it look like they can't hold the title. If anything, yeah. just like mm, really, it's not necessary. I know. Get used and young, and not only that, you're gonna win it just to cash it in and get rid of it. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Mm. Some kind of dumb is mega dumb, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Do you remember the Brown for Glory tournament? TNA's yes. version of the G1. Yes, I do. What did you think of that? Um, when it worked, it was good. Yeah. And only to us when it worked. When it happened, it was good. But then they kept on like just doing it for like years on end, and then. Well, it'll stop. I'm like, oh, okay, that's weird. And then bring it back, and then stop. Yeah. Which is super I like the, Yeah, I like the idea of it being point-based. I think the points are a bit weird, though. So you get uh, 10 points for submission, 7 points for pin. You get a count, a count of DQs, or, or whatever. DQs get minus points, and stuff like that. But I think the, yeah. the, the point system is too far apart from each other. Hmm. Like okay, four four for a submission win. Fine, you can you can do stories like like there's someone trying to get a submission win out of someone because it's harder. Yeah, uh, three points for a normal win. Then you get you know lower tier lower tier stuff. And def yeah, definitely if you get DQ'd, like some running interference, or you deliberately uh, cheat to like uh, get a count out or stuff. You you stop these things going on because legitimate tournament tournament winners wouldn't do these things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, then they had to find convoluted ways for people who were further down the ranks but don't use submission holds 
to climb up the rank. I think Jeff Hardy got a submission uh, win oh, wow. from uh, on on might have been on Samoa Joe, and I'm thinking that makes yeah. no sense. Yeah. yeah, how does Jeff Hardy submit anyone? Yeah, I've never seen it. The only thing I've ever seen a submission that we've done is probably like a rest hold sleep on. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hard. Uh, speaking of Jeff Hardy, yep. What do you think about the controversial? When was it? When turning point? What's turning point? Right, where he was champion. Was it turning point? Is that a turning point? No, he wasn't. Fun... Oh, Sorry? oh, wait. Was it Victory Road? Oh, is it that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you probably, you, you, you seemed. I think you are correct. I think. Are we ever think? Are we thinking on the same along the same lines? First, go on. You the, say what, the um f- five second match. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go yes. on, go on. Uh, that match. Um, basically, you know, um, Jeff Hardy was the TNA champion at the present time, and he had a match with um Hall of Famer, the Icon Sting. And the match lasted all of um, five seconds because yeah. Jeff Hardy was high out of his face on mm-hmm. substances. We don't know what. Yeah. And everyone kind of knew it. And then Bishop comes out and went to um, Sting. Uh, yeah, Jeff's high. We need to stop this. Yeah, he's falling over himself as he's coming to the ring. Yeah. We need to stop this before it begins. So they lock up. Sting gives Jeff the Scorpion Death Drop and legit um, dead weights him by pinning him. And Jeff trying to kick out, by the way. Yeah. So Sting wins and then everyone's like, hey, wait, what? We just promised the main event. This was like Mm -hmm. in total 45 seconds or whatever. And then he's like, yes. Then Sting walks out pissed and then everyone's saying, this is bullshit. And then yeah. Sting turns the crowd and goes, yes, I know. And I agree, then, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, did, I, did, I can't remember if Sting was actually the champion at the time or not. No, he wasn't. Point. Jeff Hardy was oh. champion. Oh, de- definitely? Yep. Oh. The other thing I didn't get right there as well, they do doing the Jeff Hardy redemption journey afterwards. Yeah. And he won the Bound for Glory series. I'm like, yeah, but that's... Why is everyone okay? A year later, uh, I mean, a couple of months later and stuff like you, you're re pushing this guy. Shouldn't he start a bit further down and then bring him up? Instead, you're like, oh, yeah, we're hot shotting his return to the peak. Yeah, right. First of all, you got to he's got to prove that he can be trusted. Yeah, but then you get everyone in the TNA, uh, in, as far as K Vape is concerned, everyone in TNA locker room going, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, um. You know, good good on you for, for conquering your demons and stuff like that. It's just like, well, I mean... Oh, by the way, you know, the rest of the controversy on about that. Not oh. the rest of the controversy, but... So, the people that bought the Victory Road pay-per-view, mm. I think they got uh, a special access to something. Mm. Like, as in, yes, yes, we got had a fast of the main event. i tell you what, though. Instead of asking for your refund, hold on, hold on. I will give you... Free access to the TNA library, monthly, whatever it is. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like all right, well, yeah. Um, fair yeah. enough. Then didn't it didn't work or something like that as well? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, firstly, this is Impact Wrestling. I cannot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Bless him. This is when they were batting below average. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. They did. They did do. Look, they did do some good stuff, but uh, do you, um, you remember the Bobby Roode heel turn? Right, Fortune. Fortune, which never had four members, by the way. Yeah, had yeah. More than four. Even they had four. They actually spelt four in Fortune in their name, but I had six people sometimes, yep. five people, eight people if you combined with whatever. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And actually, I think at one point they did have four people. I think it started um, with four, but then literally like two weeks later, it became five, six, twelve. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Bobby Roode won. Like they, they were establishing it as a a full super record, like a main eventer. Mm. And then you had to, Hogan like uh, this is Bound for Glory is their equivalent to WrestleMania, their biggest pay per view of the year. Yeah. And Hogan was also on it to versing again 
as a repeat of WCW match, which was yeah. probably better than their actual WCW match. Yeah. Um, and uh, Hogan v. Hogan, sabotaging Bobby Roode at the top going, yeah, I tell you what, it, I, I, will get, I want to get the biggest pop of the night, so Bobby Roode, you can't win your title. Even though we built all the way to this. Because I'm going to Hogan, you know? Yeah. Hot dog Hogan. That sounds about So, right. Bob, Bob Roode gets beat by Cat Angle, mm. which, don't want to say it doesn't make any sense, but it's just like, okay, well, this is his crown, crowning. Why? What, I don't know why you made that decision. Well, I know where you made the decision, but at the same time. Mm. And so then Bobby uh, James Storm wins the title off Cat Angle in a seven sec, uh, what, what, a minute long match. Was it a minute long match? Yeah, yeah. I think it was. Um, I think Kurt Angle just beat him up in the corner. Get referee pulled him off, and then he got last call super kicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yep, that sounds yeah. Right, right, yeah. But Kurt Angle was injured, which mm. is uh, which, he had a groin injury. So the lo- most logical thing was just get the title off him, and give it Bob Roode. No, you have to do this because Hogan don't, like don't care. Mm. And uh, yeah, and then then. The next week on Impact, even though they taped it, what, two days afterwards, Bobby yeah. Roode smashed James... Like, they have their match. Bobby Roode getting his number one title shot. Uh, and he cracks uh, James Storm's head with the beer bottle, pins yeah. James Storm, wins the title, holds it for an uh, extended amount of time, and then loses the title to Austin Aries because Austin Aries crashed the X Division title shot in. Mm. And then... James Storm has this payoff with Bobby Roode on Bound for Glory without the title on the line. Okay. Even though they had to be building because James, I think James, uh, Bobby Roode is holding the title for since, since uh, October to March to make, like, you know, quite a while. Yeah, so you yeah, expected quite... them to just wrap up their storyline for James Storm to conquer him. Nah. nah. Now, what we're going to do is have. Austin Aries win the title off Bobby Roode because we're doing the exhibition cash in. Mm. And so we can have Jeff Hardy, who just drugged up, you know, did his drug up thing, have his redemption story arc and beat Austin Aries for the title at Bound for Glory. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way to go. He's like, no, hold on a second. Why, why, why do that? Why, why do that? That doesn't make any, you know. Because you go with what's hot at the moment now is Austin Aries. Well, um. And to be fair. As much as I like Jim Storm, like you can't, he doesn't scream Impact Champion. Well, well, he at that point in that story, in the, uh, as it was going on, I think I think it would have made more. It made uh, would have made a lot more sense for him to win it then. Um, whether you have them as a long-term champion, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it, it's that, that's where it was heading. That's where it looked like it was heading. Uh, and yeah, TNA just. Gonna... Yeah. Oh, by the way, what did you think when Hogan joined? Um, this is in 2011? Was it 2011 or was it like 2009? Is it? Something like that. So. Uh, either way, yeah, that's when I sort of basically checked out. Me too, me too. Yeah. For probably the same reasons, right? Yeah. Like kidding. they were. <laughs> Hogan was getting paid to do not uh, what Hogan's gonna do hot dog, the spotlight. <laughs> and yeah. then push anyone who might have been a threat to his credibility. Yeah. So he pushed all his pals from WCW and WWF, depending. Yeah. And de-emphasized everyone else who actually helped build the division. Mm. Uh, yeah, especially the X division. Yeah. Even though you had, they had homegrown stars, which could, uh, at that point, had more name value in TNA than than someone like Sean Morley. Like, why? Why Why push this guy? Like, yeah. Didn't he bring... Who, who did he bring? Uh, the Nasty Boys as well. Yep, the Nasty Boys made no sense. Who were already like yeah. 20 years out of their prime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He tried to restart the Monday Night Wars. Obviously forgetting Hogan that you, you, you were in WCW at the time and you lost the Monday Night Wars. So yeah. what makes you think... <laughs> What makes you think you can restart it? Just because. I think that was an extremely bad decision for them. It just made their viewership drop because I think they were fine when they weren't competing. Yeah. yeah and you course. had people change channel. 
but it doesn't help when you are you make yourself look second rate, mm -hmm. and then when whenever people from your company join the competition, the competition makes you look second rate because that's how WWE does these things. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and then you're like, yeah, well, I'm going to compete with them, and then you lose. So badly, you're like, you know what? Let me just scurry back to the 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 time that I usually. Yeah, the time was of the day on. Usually was on. Yeah, yeah. They should never have done that in the first place. Because nope. it only just made them look even lower tier than ever. And I find it funny as well. Yeah. Gone. Sorry. And the confidence, re the constant reference, refer ref ref referencing of the WWE doesn't help people. Exactly. Exactly. Um. So if a TNA star went to WWE, hmm. they would just pretend that this that TNA never existed. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then they rebrand. Uh, they might rebrand the character, whoever it is, something else. Never mention their title wins. You, you hear? I recently, uh, like you know, uh, I say more recently, but AJ Styles, when he went to um, WWE, mm. and they talk about, oh yeah, he's an NWA champion, even though they. <laughs> so they talk about IWGP champion and NWA champion, but they don't mention the TNA championships. No. But the other f funny thing is when you listen to. Um, AJ Styles' entrance debut again. Mm. They don't even mention the NWA bit anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is like IWGP champion, same as Brock Lesnar. That's it. Yeah. He's won titles Whereas... all around the world, i.e. Impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whereas WCW and TNA, uh, Impact Wrestling, and AEW as well, and New Japan. They reference other people's organizations. Well, they're not directly, but they're like multi time world champion. At least there's an acknowledgement of something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in WWE, nothing exists outside of their own canon. I don't know if that makes them look better or worse it... uh, when you think certain things are off their, off their own island, like the Cody verse. At the same time, if your competition, if you reference to a competition and your competition don't reference you, it's just like, yeah. That girl's ghost to you. You don't you don't you not talk to her no more. But like sometimes I don't think you need to mention. It's just it uh like mm. for WWE mentioning competition, it, it is kind of like what's the point? Because if like yeah. technically they're the biggest company in the world, why are you gonna Well, they love to say um that they're the big leagues, you know, well, when AJ Styles join and they're like, Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Well it's like yeah. when you think about it. Well, yeah, yeah. But, but the way they do it <laughs> The way they do it is just like, yeah, we all say we're the big leagues, and we believe it. Yeah, yeah. That means, it. Got, got yeah, that means everyone life. else believes it, right? Yeah. Not necessarily it's the case or not, <laughs> but if we talk about it like that, then we get everyone else to believe that that's just that's the same. It's like, okay, well, you know, I mean, the casual viewers maybe, yeah, okay, yeah, but, but perception, perception in the world is WWE is because. You don't a non wrestling fan. You talk to them; they they just call all wrestling WWE. So it proves that they are. It's, it's true. It's true. Like the big leagues. Yeah. Well, they are number one. The, the, number one doesn't make you. Uh, uh, okay, I want to say <laughs> number one doesn't necessarily make you the big leagues, but at the same time, <laughs> well, if you're not, well, TNA was at some point default the uh, yeah, number two biggest organization. Yeah. yeah, but that, but they. I wouldn't call TNA the big leagues. No, it's the minor or, leagues. Or the second league, even. It's well, minor leagues. I, I tell you what's funny is how basically AEW said, yeah, boys, I'm coming in. Yeah. And then boom, somehow they, they just became second. Yeah. <laughs> they got the money. That's the thing. That's oh, why uh, That's why um, WWE and TNA, uh, WWE and Impact will always, not Impact, sorry, AEW will always be one and two. And New Japan technically won as number two as well because they got the money. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would uh, Impact Wrestling. Wait, wait. Okay. So wrestling organization wise, WWE. I, I'm just gonna throw out the thing with you, yeah? mm -hmm. and you can tell me where you rank Impact Wrestling from them. All right. So there's WWE, of course. There's AEW. There's Impact Wrestling. There's Ring of Honor, even though that's part of Impact Wrestling now. But Ring of I mean part of AEW. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AEW. Um and New Japan, right? Even though there's you know all Japan and all and no one stuff like that, but yeah. I, I've seen the five biggest are are those. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you put TNA? 
At the moment time, it'll be third. No, no, it won't be third, sorry. It'll be like fifth. Oh, uh, 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 behind Ring of Honor? I wouldn't even cast Ring of Honor as anything. I'll just put it Oh, hold on. You're saying WWE? Right? Yeah, WWE. Yeah. AW. Or even say New Japan in a way, because I reckon New Japan probably got more okay. reach than AW. Okay, I'll put them two joint two because. Well, you can yeah. you like you don't need to split them, but you can you can just say two and three together somewhere, yeah. 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 Okay. And then it would be, um, impact. Yeah. Yeah. Because Ring of Honor again, I just fold it into AEW. It's the same thing at this point. So. Even though it tries to be a separate organization. But... Yeah, even though all of its pay-per-views have like 90% of the AEW roster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. People under AEW contract doesn't mean they're AEW roster. Well, again, the paychecks both say the same thing. So. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so what's it called? What's it called? Uh... Wow. Ah, damn it. I, I had something and I was going to mention it, but I forgot it. And it was... Um... It just slipped out of my mind. Uh, any uh, what 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 else uh, do you what good or bad? What do you remember from Impact Wrestling? Um, good or bad? Um, the good and bad comes in one in the same storyline. If I'm honest. Oh yes, go on, go on. Is it Claire Lynch? No, 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 no. I <laughs> I, I forget that happens. There's no good. There's no good in Claire Lynch no. storyline. Like, uh, what, even no. Go on, go on. Actually, yeah, you do your Claire Lynch thing. Go on. No, no, I was going to say, let, I'm going to have to note that down because we have to come back to it. I already asked you the question, though. So you, and you, you intrigued me what you're saying is good and bad. Um, so right. let me just write down Claire Lynch, though. I remember we go back to that. All right. So realistically, it's not actually that bad, but I just didn't like the end of it. So um, it's. The AJ Styles lost during TNA. Oh, the Evil Ways one. Yeah, because I liked all that. How he, you know, aces and eights. Say what you will. It was a good and a bad storyline. Mm-hmm. Um, they kind of made AJ disgruntled Wait. and stuff. Okay, okay. Let me just let me just uh, hit up your what you're saying about aces and eights. All right. So, it was a storyline that was. It, very involved is the best way I could put it. Hmm. Because they had to do an a impact after the bell episode hmm. to tie up exactly why Bully Ray was the leader of Ace and 8 even hmm. though when they started the storyline he seemed like their number one adversary or you know, all team against them. So why would you hit your own teammates for a whole year? You know when you got two heels in the ring and, and you got the traitor? Hmm. And the traitor usually does not fight the heels. Yeah. Because he's, you know, he's a traitor after all. You know, why? And, and nowadays, some people just, they continue to fight. Mm. But you're like, yeah, but if you're with them in the end, why would you be throwing punches at them? It makes no sense. Why would yeah. you be moving them? Anyways, Barbara Ray was doing that all year against Aces and Eights. And then all of a sudden, he is the leader of Aces and Eights. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh... What, what? And then they had to, yeah, like I said, they had half, the, half an hour. Impact after about which, by the way, I liked when they did that. Some, some, not that particular episode, but you know when they do that, it's just like you catch up with the characters and storylines and stuff like that. Yeah. But they had to dedicate a whole half an hour episode to it to explain. And Bob Ray's now rating through it, saying, "Yeah, I did this. I did that." Oh so yeah. At this point, that, yeah. Oh. tying it all together. And when you have to have someone like spend the whole extended amount of time saying, "Well, actually, when you look at this, so the second time around." The twist. Oh, anyways. So you you were saying, AJ Styles. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that all went well. Like I liked the whole lead up. He became his own sort of man. Grab his hair. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he he toppled um bubble brother brother Ray or bully Ray or whatever. No, bully Ray at this point. Yeah. yeah. Um. He toppled him at Bound for Glory 2013. And then they tried to recreate the CM Punk, Summer Punk storyline yes. where AJ was defending the title in other places, even though it was pretty much like random indies and fun fairs and stuff, but sure, whatever. 
Yeah, this is where they offered him a contract, which was 40% of what he was earning already. Yep. Because they're like, well, we've got to keep Hogan, right? Yeah, keep Hogan and all his friends, whatever. Yeah. So he was like, you know what? F this noise. Mm -hmm. And mm, they kind of played it into the story. Kind They didn't. And then he had to fight Magnus in... It wasn't a ladder match, was it? Uh, I think it was supposed to be a, I say it was supposed to be a normal match because so he ran off with the, he went off with the title I say he ran off but yeah, really, yeah. Uh, they weren't going to pay him so of course right yeah he went and then they had held the tournament which Magnus won yeah and then after that they're like AJ's like well I'm actually the real title holder yeah and they were like okay well let's do unify these titles that Brian for glory or some such. That wasn't Bound for Glory, it was something else, but yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because I think Magnus won the tournament and won that, his yeah. title at Bound for Glory. Okay. Nah, because oh. AJ won his title at Bound for Glory. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So this is months later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, what's it called? Then they needed the, exact, the whole TNA roster to come and interfere in AJ Styles' match. Yeah, all the heels lose. basically on the roster at that point interfered and all that, and then AJ lost and yeah. that was literally i was like yep i'm done and i didn't watch tna for well like it, it didn't make sense it doesn't make magnus look any good first nope. of all because he needed over 11 people to cut oh, how, how many oh, i don't know we'll millions it was, it was a lot yeah. of people yeah mm -hmm. fair enough if magnus won by himself which would make a bit more sense because yeah. then you establish him as a as a star but heels being heels can never win uh for some reason by yeah. themselves um, if he won in a creative manner, mm. fair enough as well. But no. But yeah, that none of that made sense. I tell you what, as well. So part of that storyline didn't make sense. Chris Sabin was a uh, X Division champion at that time. So when mm. he cashed in his X Division title match, that Bubba Ray had the uh, Buddy Ray had the title. Yeah. Uh, but Chris Sabin won it. Then he lost it the next month. Yeah. Uh, in a cage match or something. Yeah. And I was like, why, why, why? What's the point of a three-week title reign? Whatever, right? Yeah. And then they had the aces and eights. I think this is the next two impacts or something. They had aces and eights versus another team mm. uh, with a mis like the other, the opposing whatever they were with um, a mystery member. And you're like, all right, so I guess this is where Chris Saban becomes the mystery member and gets his win uh, back. But gets the gets the pin on Buddy Ray, mm. and then it can shift him to some a feud with someone else. Or oh, he pins, he pins a member of the Aces and Eights, and then it can feud with him, mm. and that'll be done, right? And then he can move out of the title picture. Mm. Now AJ Styles is the the mystery person, which okay, fair enough. Uh, AJ Styles come AJ Styles coming back with Evil Ways music, yeah. And then they do yeah, which is fine, okay. But then what? So Chris Saban is just like. And then Bubba Ray cuts a promo how he just uh, kicks Chris Saban back to the X Division. It's like, yeah, but you you're crapping on the guy and you're crapping on the 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 the, the cruiserweights as well. Essentially, you don't make yourself look. You don't get a heel heat from that. You just make it sound that like everything's beneath you. And if you don't, if your company is, itself doesn't care about that part of the organization, then why mm. is the audience going to care? Heel heat, isn't it? That's why. Yeah, but there's there's heel heat that makes sense, and there's heel heat that doesn't make sense, especially when everyone already thinks that uh, it's, it's, the way that you've established the cruise uh, the division is um, uh, they're not good enough to be heavyweights, anyways. It's just mm. like yeah, but you're not you're not making them look any better. Yeah, but in all fairness, not bad. Mm. Some of yeah, okay. some of those exhibition people wouldn't never be title contenders. That is that is true. Yeah, even Chris Saban never realistically would be a title contender. Well, well, they put that I, belt I on him they... for the for the momentary pop. That's literally what it was. <laughs> uh, you know what, Chris O'Daniels, I I am uh, surprised did not get a, a the hold the TNA World Tower at any point. Mm, same. Yeah. Uh, again. Uh, and I'm surprised that Samoa Joe only held it once. Monty Brown as well. Monty Brown with his uh, Monty Brown with his insane promos, amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, he had the mic skills. He and the persona. Yeah, so he had all the skills good. except for the wrestling bit. <laughs> Even his wrestling was okay. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, his wrestling was okay. That's the thing. Everything else though, he had. Yeah, uh, and I was like, wow, look, this guy, this guy's. Promo ability to talk about nothing 
but say everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the words that the words that he's saying are not needed, but at the same time, it's like, well, that's his character. 100% makes sense. Yeah, he did all right, to be fair. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, before we get sidetracked, let's go back to Claire Lynch. Yeah. Go Claire ahead. Lynch. I don't... Uh, Claire, Claire, Claire Lynch. Not the sister of Becky. No. Okay, Claire Lynch, how do we put this? Right. So there's some secret that Dixie Carter and AJ Styles had. And it made it sound like they were an affair. And Chaz, uh, Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels are feuding with AJ at the time. And they're like, oh yeah, it's them two. They, 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 they are having an affair. We had got them on camera and stuff like that. And then they had, no, no, it wasn't. It was a friend of Dixie Carter's who's going for rehab. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the deep dark secret was. I think initially, initially they were saying that the storyline was that there was going to be a uh, the secret was that AJ Styles' sister was dating Kazarian, and then AJ's like, yeah. It, first of all, I don't think he has a sister, but he's like, but why would I have a problem with my sister dating my friend? That that makes no sense. So they had to switch it to something else. Yeah. Um. Then they switched it to that, and then. They switched into Claire, yeah. Then Clay Lynch pretend to uh, be having a, a kind of having an affair with AJ, but not because yeah. they. She's like, oh yeah, and she took pictures of AJ when AJ was asleep. I was like, yeah, but I think AJ is a good Christian man. That's how he portrays himself. Mm-hmm. He would never be cheating on his wife. So it kind of, like, what they need to do was double up the ridiculousness of it. Yeah. And just keep on going the full ham on it. <laughs> yeah, this just like went with it to the ground, but no. Yeah, yeah, completely over the top. None of this makes any sense, right? And just keep on doing it, um, um, like uh, just adding more layers of stupidity to it, because then no one, then it's a laugh, right? Yeah, no one takes yeah. it seriously. But at this point, I mean, except for AJ, who's the victim of this, yeah. And then we're just saying, just escalate all this the stuff to the next level. Of whatever Claire, Claire Lynch said that he was going to oh, I'll start a family with AJ, all that silliness. They needed to do that. Yep. Um, but I think what happened was Claire Lynch, the actress who was playing Claire Lynch, uh, got hate mail or whatever it was. And also so fired had... from her job because of this. Yeah. Because she was and... working at Universal Studios at the time. Yeah. And people started to recognize her and she's like, oh no. Mm-hmm. But she went on to be an, an an actual actress. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they had closed the storyline up with basically Claire Lynch's lawyer saying, "Was it? Uh, yes, I was blackmailed into it by these two, by the uh, by Frank Kazarian and 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 uh, Christopher Daniels or something like that. I can't so, remember exactly uh, of it, but just like it dwindled, it just died because, yeah." It Not that it makes dumb. sense in the first place, but I, you know, it was dumb. Yeah, yeah, like many a thing in uh, <laughs> like many a thing. In, you yeah. know. it was dumb. Yeah. Um. Though, though, I mean, I know we're knocking it down because there is a lot of silliness here, but they they really had a good tag team division during that. Uh, was it round two? That like, TNA's tag division was very strong. For the first ten years, yeah, I'll say that, yeah. Um, Just about, but especially yeah. when LAX, LAX were feuding with AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels, the Phenomenal Angels, as some people called it. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, and they had uh, America's Most Wanted, and then they had Beer Money as well. I'm not at the same time because James Storm can't be on two teams at once, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> I have to say, good on James Storm, by the way. To I don't know if you remember the beer, the beer championship, the beer drinking championship. Yeah, the beer drinking championship. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Which was the John Cena spinner belt, a toy version of the John Cena spinner belt with a beer bottle stuck on it. Yeah. Where um, he challenged. Eric, so the only two title holders were James Storm and Eric Young. Yeah. And I think the first time they just they had beer taped to their hands and they had to keep on drinking it, and the yeah. first one to. Um, get up or something like that was the loser, and I think Eric Young got up first. But then 
<laughs> he's like, no, because James still wet himself. He pointed at it. He's like, James still wet himself. And James was like, no, 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 no. He, he get Jacqueline to spell it. And then she's like, no. Oh, James, like, we, I don't, I, could you do that to yourself? So, yeah, that's how the, that title changed hands. I was yeah. like, yeah, okay. I mean, it's a joke title and it's a joke feud. So you kind of accept it. Yeah. And it was funny as well. Kind of have to. Yeah, they, they they knew what I was doing. They went with it. Yeah. Which is good. It's good. Yeah. Um, Could be worse. Some, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes at the same time, you're like, mm. they didn't. Yeah, they didn't go far enough in some of them, and some of them it, it just plain stupid. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you remember. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. So they had LAX, which was uh, Homicide and Hernandez. Yeah. With Conan. Yeah. But then no, later wait, on. No, no, no. no. no it wasn't Conan? Was in the original LAX? If I remember correctly, what was he? Sure? Yeah, I yeah, it was, I what's the name? Shelly Martinez. Well, here, here's, I think, uh, yeah, here's yeah, the you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, right. because they then had a second LAX, mm. which was not the same as the first LAX. No, that was Santana and Ortiz. Yeah, the better version. Which is like, yeah. all right, I mean, okay, <laughs> but are you sending it to? And then I think Hernandez made his own team called Mexican America. No, they were like, called the OGs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I think that's afterwards when Homicide came back, right? Yeah, and they had Eddie Kingston with him as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, oh, okay, if you if you say so. But, um, yeah, the other thing is, uh, do you remember when Okada was in TNA? Yeah, when he was Kato. Mm -hmm. Very uh, oh, Kato. Yeah. And it's like... When you look at that and you look at Okada now, and even when Okada came back in, in New Japan, you're like, why? How? Okay. I don't know if you read about what Vince Russo says about all this. Uh, the non-Americans. He, he's like, I'm an American. I'm here to watch American wrestling. Why do I care about the, the, like, the Japanese guy or this English guy or whatever? And it's just like, Vince Russo. How long have you been writing wrestling for? <laughs> yeah. That then excuse bad writing is bad writing regardless. Yeah. Terrible. And you can have international stars. I'm sure he he watched wrestling for that long, yeah. And he doesn't he doesn't realise you can have if people got charisma and skills and whatnot, you can trump certain other things that they don't have. But you can't push a guy who's bad. Well no, I didn't say that because you got your you got your Hogan's and the Rocks, right? They're not yeah. the greatest wrestlers in the world, but they've yeah. got the uh, Rocks got athleticism and showboating and all this other stuff as uh, super charisma to yeah. to uh, outdo all of that. Yeah, uh, Hogan's agree as well. I never I never thought uh, Hogan had the greatest ring skill, but yeah, yeah, he's great. Yeah, it's just it's just a, one of those things where you're like, no wonder why New Japan was like, nah. We don't want to be associated with TNA anymore. Give me back. Give us back Kato. Yeah. Uh, give us back Okada. Sorry. And we're going to do what we were going to do with him anyways. But you you guys are trash. Great up. Yeah. Because yeah. he was. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you remember? Speaking of, because Okada was teamed up with Samoa Joe. Yeah. Which makes no sense. But like... do you remember? Sam okay, Samojo come out as. How would you describe Samojo's gimmick? What well, now or then? Or um. Well, aren't they kind of the same still? I don't know because there was a bit where he was meant to be like a machete carrying savage. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. That's that's right. what I'm saying. I will get to Samojo's character now as as when he uh, also similar to his character when he first started uh, yes. in Ring of Honor slash TNA. Yeah, how would you yeah. describe that? Uh, big Samoan dude that just hurts people. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, now you go into the um, other version of Samoan Joe. How would you describe that one? Uh, he was a, a machete carrying Samoan dude with a fake tattoo on his face. A uh, fake uh, body shape looking yeah. tattoo, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. A fat uh, shape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now why 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 they thought okay 
we're going to make this guy who, who he's articulate, he can speak, he can do his promos and stuff like that. Um, and he just comes in to, hurt, to, to beat our people and why not? They waste everything. Yeah. And then we're going to have him carry a mache, talking like a madman, threatening to murder people, which obviously you can't on a wrestling show, so it still doesn't make any sense. Like, like when Abyss had the, uh, what he called Janice, which was the baseball bat full of spikes. And you're like, no one could get hit with that. You, you do realize if yeah. anyone does get legit hit with that, they're dead. Yep. Um, they have lawsuits on your hands. Yeah. And possible so, murder cases. Do you remember how Samoa Joe reverted back to his normal Samoa Joe gimmick? Yeah, he got kidnapped and just came back and it was normal. Yes. <laughs> Which then he referenced years later on Raw when he was a commentator. And they were talk- I think Akira taught Zara was uh, dressed as, uh, had his yeah, ninja group or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then Smojo somehow went on this little side, little tangent where they, they asked him, oh, how do you do with um, uh, the uh, the, ninja, uh, the ninja group on the side or something like that? Well, yeah. like, and they, they mean, they're meaning in reference to having to fight Akira towards Zawa as well as the ninjas. Yeah. And Smojo nod at the camera, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, if it was me that was involved, I'd, um, I allowed them to kidnap me and then I'll infiltrate them from within yeah and tear them out down but you know that's that's that, me and then and, and then we, you know there, there's no more to be said <laughs> like right alright <laughs> yeah okay I mean you were solving pop friends on someone else's show yeah years later fair enough that was funny that was funny mm-hmm. but I have to say um, speaking of Samoa Joe Scott Steiner Scott Steiner during this era, I want to say he came to work. When he went came to work, he came to work, and then he just started cutting ridiculous promos. Yeah, I don't even think Big Papa Big Papa Pump in WCW was more straight laced than this. Yeah, I think uh, he did it all though. I, 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 I'm pretty sure it was all an act. The way he was acting. What in here? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. This no, no, no. Stuff. What? Yeah, he, he 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 just he knows like this guy knows how to make his money. He's like, yeah. well, I'm on camera, I'm gonna be such a steroid meathead. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying he, he done it on purpose, which made mm-hmm. it even better. He's like, super super uh, ultra dunce kind of dude. Yeah, and somehow I, the scream and everything and everything. I'm like a piece of bacon to him. All this ludicrous and ridiculous. Do you remember when? Uh, Pearl Harbor bombed the Germans. Yeah, he said it like that. Yeah, he's such a... He's so great. Uh, yeah. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. Um, they could have done more of him, uh, but... Yeah, well, it was very entertaining. Uh, one time, they, they I started cheering for him, and he, he had to, he had to give the people the finger, because yeah. he was meant to be the heel there, even though he's by far the most entertaining person there. Yeah. So he's a true professional. And it's so funny, by the way, when you, when you listen to him be normal. Yeah. His shoot voice is so different. Mm. Uh, he, he what was he cussing Abyss? He was talking about talking to Bubba Ray about Abyss yeah. and saying how he's gonna. Uh, he found Abyss's girlfriend. Yeah. In parts unknown, he searched parts unknown. He found Abyss's girlfriend. Uh, she's fat. She's ugly. As you know, the, st- the standard stuff that Scott Steiner says about fat asses. Uh, and then Scott Steiner's got freaks eight days of the week. And then Bob Ray's like, there's only seven days in the week. What are you talking about? And he goes, I'll be Bob Pump. I can do whatever. Right? The other stuff. Like going into Ultra Scott Steiner mode. Yeah. Uh, Big Pump. And then Bob Ray's like to him, English. And he cracks. <laughs> Scott Steiner cracks a bit while yeah. he's chuckling. But then, you know, he's just like, he, uh, then he said it normally. And then when, as soon as he finished that sentence, and Bob Ray says something, he says something else back in Scott Steiner mode. I was like, you got, you're a joker. He's the best. I don't know if you ever watched this promo, by the way. Uh, it's a random promo. He did it with one of his... Um, I, I think... Dude. I can't remember what they were talking about, but he was just... Uh, I think he, he, he was doing an interview way and, and he, was, he asked Scott if they could pro- cut a promo together. Mm. And he's like, yeah. And then they were talking about... Uh, I think Scott's uh, match against... Like, the, as though Booker T was their opponent. And we're going to get you for what you've done to Rick... We're gonna get you. Um, we'll be banging girls all night and stuff like that. And guess what? what? You'll be getting the girls 
with the, you're going to be weak and infected because the girls you got got STDs. And then Scott Steiner's like, what to the guy? And he goes, hold on a minute. Oh, wow. How can you give them the girls that we have been with and those girls give them STDs? You've got to have the STD first to give yeah. them to the girls. And the, the guy's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Mid no, 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 we give the, we, we give the fat, ugly ones that have STDs. We don't give them, we don't care with the ones that have STDs. They just like, no, okay, tell me what, you tell me what girls you go with, and I won't go with those girls. You can, you know, <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was, it was obviously not um, a TNA promo thing. Yeah. It was just a separate thing about it. I was just like, I found that hilarious because Scott started just like, what? <laughs> I ain't gonna touch your STD girls. I have to say, it's quite inventive as well to weaken some opponent with using STDs. Yeah. Chemical warfare. He's the best. Um, yeah. And this is where we had to cut the episode short because it ended up being like three hours long. So I had to split into three parts. So hope you enjoy the next two parts, which should be fun and annoying. Not annoying, but it'd be great. And sorry about the background noise that's my tv anyways hope you will enjoy and i have been the man who joined sports entertainment extreme for giggles carl charles and my co-host cy who's here somewhere but i hope you all enjoy and i'll catch you next part bye the blows to the back of sting wait, 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 wait. wait a minute that's, well, that's Sting in the ring. Yeah, that, that is Sting. I do something that seemed right here. Well, who the hell is that Sting? And who the hell is Jared beating up? Jared has no clue, Mike. Jared has no idea that Sting's in the ring while he continues this beat down. And, oh. Turn the lights on, turn them, so, so Jared can see. Jared's gotta turn around, oh my God. Oh, Jared just realized it wasn't Sting. And Sting from behind with the baseball bat wrapped around his neck. He's got that bat right against his throat and windpipe. Probably has no clue who the hell's choking him. That's the real Sting doing the damage. Two decades of history between these two. Sting not giving oh anyone God. answers here for months to his actions. Jared initially. Oh. Look at how red Jarrett's face was. Michael was getting choked out. Oh, oh. another shot with the baseball bat. Jarrett gave up on trying to get answers from Sting. He was looking for that physical revenge tonight. Ooh. But instead, he's being destroyed here with these shots from the baseball bat. Oh, my God. Oh. There is no signs of Sting stopping this attack. If you're gonna walk with them, you're gonna go down with them! On a night when Jeff Jarrett was looking for ultimate revenge, Sting gets the last word.